I think it's it's really interesting to see what people pick for their backgrounds. Uh, oh, well, I was just writing about the Room Raider that exists on Twitter, uh, where colleagues are actually rating their colleagues' rooms when they're really working from home. At, That's as not though, nice. As though, as though <laughs> they didn't have enough to deal with. Uh, it's so mean, so, though, you know? There is so much tension involved uh, in all of this that people don't recognize when they get started. And yet this is the best situation we have. A hundred years ago when the pandemic existed, nobody had internet. And so everybody stayed totally closeted for a couple of years. Now we are ending up with like two years of closetization, may I? <laughs> and, and, and we're finding that now we have an introduction of a Delta variant to add to all of our problems. And working from home is now being reconsidered as the only way to go. And this hybrid stuff that some companies started may not happen all that soon. But there's no question, working from home is uh, here to stay, just as viruses will be here to stay forever. So how we intend to handle them is really, will determine our power, our strength, and our flexibility, actually. What do you think? Well, I wanna get back to the rating, I'm very, <laughs> interested in that just the fact that well I've had people where I it's so noticeably cluttered behind them when they're you know working at home that they just have I mean probably on this side of the desk you'd see all that at my house you know but what you're I'm showing this side I mean you just don't do that to me you know you want to have a clean uh presentation. I mean, whether, I mean, you could have your knickknacks or whatever, but I have seen like socks and things, you know, oh, <laughs> you know, stacks so, of okay, crap. Okay, cool. So yeah. how, do, how would you assess somebody whose dirty socks are lying around? Well, you just don't do that. Person about some major business situation. You know, I was watching that Dr. Death uh, I don't know if you're watching that, but it's really no, good. I'm not, I'm not <laughs> but he, he goes into a horrible true story, really good on Peacock. But it he he's in the, the talking to patients. He's got this big hole ripped in the back of his scrubs on in the back of his butt. You know what I mean? And the nurse is trying to tell him that, you know, hey, you get a little, you know, he, he and he's just pissed that she's even suggesting it. Some people do not want to hear any kind of constructive criticism so that's that's an well, issue how you well, tell people it depends upon if they take that as constructive or destructive right 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 but uh, i think that it's really important uh, the weirdest one i have to say is a leader who would have his camera set up in his garage that was oh. the background and what was weirder than that is <laughs> He would take a picture of his back, his garage to use as the green screen image. So he's in his garage with it, potentially with his garage as the background be superimposed on the screen. OK. <laughs> and the only reason I could figure you do that is you'd want people to think you're home when you're not. I think that you'd put your home picture like that especially a garage which nobody would set up in wait a minute he was in his office and he had uh, there's no office i guess he worked out of the garage so you're just seeing oh, no, it, but people have been making all kinds of adjustments one woman not in arizona working, you're not working in a garage <laughs> one woman was operating out of her closet during work from home, she didn't yeah. have space. You don't recognize how tiny city apartments yeah. with humongous rents 
Yeah, no, I get it for that. I do get it for that. But this guy had a big house in, in a big part of California. And it was and maybe he had a family that yeah, was yeah. occupying that whole house. You don't know. I, I think if you're going to have a background, if your background's your garage, then you use a fake picture so people don't have to look at your garage. But you don't use a picture of your garage as your background. <laughs> Well, you see, that's maybe you take a bookshelf from some nice downloadable yeah. picture. You know what I mean? Something. But that's one of the advantages we have with Zoom. Uh, we can put any background in there. Of course, when we talk, our hands are webbed. Yeah, that drives me crazy. I'd rather see that, that, that green screen stuff never worked for me, um, and I haven't seen it work really well for anybody well, work with zoom it works if you're making videos for uh using like camtasia or different things if, you know you're trying to create videos but if you're trying to combine green screen and zoom it's superfluous because they have that technology over the green screen and it just you know there's no reason to, to, to do that not perfected however they are going public did i see and Zoom has been great for them. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the pandemic has been great for Zoom. <laughs> yeah. but, uh, but if they go public, then they're going to have to clean up their act a little bit, I think. I think they've made a lot of improvements. I had the, uh, a person from Zoom on my show maybe three or four years ago when I really was into Zoom long before COVID. I just thought this is the best thing ever, you know, because <laughs> it's so easy. I hated Skype because ah, you had to have an account. You had to do things that you didn't need. Zoom, somebody sends you a link, you get on, you're in. You know, it was so yeah, easy. Zoom is much easier than yeah. Skype. I don't think I've been on Skype for a long time. I still get on Skype with certain people. I, I'm on, I was on Teams this morning. I, you know, Microsoft has, I, I, I'm not as crazy about Microsoft sharing um things it's a little more complicated uh this is way easier because whatever you share it's it, it, you can tell what you're sharing a lot easier on zoom and things like that so i i, I think it, there's a lot that can be improved i think that the virtual stuff i love that they're incorporating certain things like colors if you wanted to wear lipstick enhancers and stuff but the problem is you wear the lipstick enhancers the minute you take a sip out of a straw or you touch near your face your lipstick goes in and out and so you <laughs> no, no, i tried that no i'm i'm totally natural now i'm not doing that yeah it, i mean some of that sounds good it's kind of like snapchat you know <laughs> yeah. i'm fascinated by the psychological uh impediments that this room razor Rater, that, that this room rater mm -hmm. on Twitter has um, created for people. They are so, so, so self-conscious. I mean, it's bad enough that um, people are loaded up with worrying about the technology performing as it should but in a, and, and the kids at home, who knows if they're gonna go back to school, if they're not going back to school, if they're gonna be homeschooled. Now we have a whole bunch of people who have seen what homeschooling is all about and decided that they didn't like the public education and they're going to be homeschooling their kids. So that too, under one roof with lots of intermingling and all this togetherness and you hear dogs barking and you hear people squabbling and, and I mean, it doesn't, so, so it doesn't get any easier. And then all of a sudden somebody comments, hmm, one plant, two chairs that could be reupholstered. <laughs> um, I, I, so. and, and people are like this. And the people who are the recipients of these ratings have become paranoid over this. That's awful. I, you know, I guess that's probably why I do the plain thing, because I just think the, the less you have to look at in the background and to judge and to think about, you know, people are just so weird about what they'll say and, and do that. I, I, I want it to be about the content when you're talking in a group. Well, and, you know? it, and it should. And, and yet, you know, when I chose my background, knowing that I'm in this business, and a lot of my television shows have, have then turned to this, solely this, but it also allows me to be on my New York television shows that I could not be on when I'm here in Arizona. And I have no intention of going to New York anytime soon. So it, it works, it, it has worked very well. But when I intentionally chose my background, I wanted something 
that wasn't a picture of a face or an activity or a something. Yeah. It was just very um, asymptomatic of anything else.